Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Monday Morning Podcast for Monday, May 2nd, 2016. And I know I always make that joke, like, oh my God, where is the year going? But seriously, guys, seriously, where the fuck is this year going? What the fuck? May 2nd already. May fucking 2nd. We're getting ready for the summer. Um, into May. I'm psyched. I'm psyched that we're into May because May means we're closer to the middle of July. And in the middle of, the Ju- of July, I will be done writing, you know, helping to write the second season of uh, F is for Family. And then I'm, I'm free. Not really, but sort of. And uh, I'll have two weeks off. And then old Freckles, rumor has it, is going to be doing, uh, doing a nice run through Europe. So uh, which may, may or may not start in uh, Ireland. Um, it's all uh, sort of loose at this point, but uh, we're slugging it out, and um, I'm actually feeling much better, by the way. Thank you for not asking with my sciatica. Sciatica. That sounds like a fucking speed metal band, you know? Not a good one, though, right? Come see my band, Sciatica. We're going to be down at uh, the Ground Round on uh, Wednesday night. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely see it. All right, so, like, you think maybe you could, like, bring some people? Hey, you know, I'm going to do what I can. All right, so is that, like, can I definitely put you down? Dude, fuck off. I'm, I'll, I'll, if I get there, I'll get there. All right, bro, chill. Um, sciatica. Um, sorry. I actually, I got some, I found some new stretches. I found this fucking guy on, uh, on YouTube, this doctor, who was just sitting on a yoga mat, one of these fucking new agey guys. You know what I mean? One of those guys that's like straight, but still makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> you know those, you know those straight guys. Like a straight up gay guy is not uncomfortable to be around, but there's a certain kind of straight guy that's coming off like he's gay, but he's straight. That is the most uncomfortable male to be around. I don't know why. You know what I mean? It's almost like they got something between their teeth, and you just can't even hear what the fuck they're saying. You want to be like, can you just go? And get that the fuck out of here so I can, I can listen to you. Is there a word for that? The gay straight guy? Um, yeah, Bill, it's called the gay guy in, clo- in, in, the, in the closet. Or maybe it isn't. Some, some guys are just, uh, some guys are just effeminate. Some guys just stand there in gym classes. One person after another is called to be on the team. Well, that's a stereotype, right? There's gay athletes. It was that guy who played on uh, the Big 12 there in Missouri. And then he went to uh, that football team, and then he got cut. It must have been hard to cut him, right? All right, how bad does this guy have to suck before we won't get accused of being homophobic when we cut him? You know, that's always in the air. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. I'm here to talk about Sciatica at the Worcester Centrum. Um... Turns out my hamstring was fucked up, so I was doing like the uh, touch your toe stretches, which is the exact opposite thing that you want to do because the nerve is like pinched or inflamed and you're just like you're it, you're you're not stretching it. Or I guess you stretch the muscles, really. So whatever. And usually, uh, I don't know, stretches around the nerve. I have no idea. I never even heard of this fucking thing until uh, I had this problem. And God knows I didn't take any anatomy classes. So um I think when you don't have a nerve issue, you can then do that bend because what you're stretching really is just your muscle, your muscle fiber, the muscle tissue. Um, and the nerves are just sort of chilling around it. But when it gets pinched between the, the fucking anterior crucial ligament of the uh, lower fucking vertebrae tailbone, whatever the fuck it is, all I know is like fucking, fucking pulling a balloon, um, uninflated balloon. I, I have no fucking analogy. I don't know what, all I know is it hurt. So I put this guy on this hippie guy and he was just like yeah man what you actually want to do is you don't there there's certain stretches that you want to do and there's certain stretches that you don't want to do and you know we're in an age right now it's i'm so fucking impatient i was trying to skip ahead but i just had to sit there you know everything i could do just to get through a nine minute video it's only nine minutes out of my day but there's like a flat screen tv with NBA and NHL playoffs going on. I got other videos I can click on. You know, as I'm sitting there trying to listen to this guy, I'm also looking at all the videos on the right. You know, there's free porn. There's all kinds of shit. And this guy is just sitting there going, you know, 
okay, good, good stretch that you want to do is, is actually if you just sit down on your buttocks, make sure your weight is on your, your pelvic bones. And I was just, it was driving me fucking insane, but whatever. I ended up doing the stretches and I, and I definitely feel better. So, um, thanks to that guy, whatever his fucking name is. And I will definitely be posting those in case anybody else has that problem. If you're just sitting down in a chair and like your feet go numb and shit, you could possibly have what I have. <laughs> or you got a big dog sitting in your lap. One or the other. I have no fucking idea, but I'm just happy that it, uh, that it feels better. And, um, I got to tell you all these fucking aches and pains that I'm having. I, I knew this a long time ago. There's nothing better than stretching. Now that I've gone out and I bought all this fucking rogue fitness shit, um, you know, to lift weights and all the atomic grips and all that shit to do the, uh, ninja warrior stuff. Like the best thing I could be doing all that shit is that shit's all going to be great provided I fucking stretch. But, um, I don't know. I wish I knew way, 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 way fucking back in the day to stretch. There was no stretching in the eighties. <laughs> you went to gold's gym. You just did the old, you know, you did the stretch you did before you started lifting in gold's gym back in the eighties. Do you remember fucking Chevy chase when he's about ready to jump in the pool with Christy Brinkley when he's, when he's going, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. You know, he's moving his fucking, that's what you did. You did a couple of those. And then you did like you stuck your arm to the side and you did those fucking, you know, touch your left hand to your right toe and up and down, you know, one, two fucking those military things. One, two, three, four. I love Marine Corps. You're doing that shit right without stretching. And then you would just fucking work out. I fucked up myself so much. Fucked up my tricep. I tore a pec. You know, you know, it's funny. All of this shit's going to come back to haunt me the next time I lose my fucking uh, health insurance. If someone just listened to this podcast and list everything that I'm talking about as some sort of pre-existing condition. Um, you know, you're probably going, well, Bill, you're, you're doing well. How do you keep losing your health insurance? Well, because you do an acting gig, they pay you one time and then they start sending you residual checks for like a dollar thirty five. And you have to make 10 grand a year minimal to keep your, uh, every single year, you gotta make it. You gotta make that or something like that to keep your fucking sag after fucking health insurance. And, uh, you know, if one year goes by and you're writing a show rather than being on the show, you fucking lose your, uh, you end up losing. I mean, I do anyways. I haven't done enough, uh, you know, I haven't done enough acting work, I guess. You know, you'd think with 58 Fast and Furious, 47 Friday the 13th, you'd think I could catch on enough to make 10 grand a year. <laughs> you know what? I'm blaming the fucking after SAG health, health insurance. I think I got to take this one. I got to take this one myself. I got to look myself in the fucking mirror and be like, you know what, Bill? It's your goddamn fault. It's your own fucking fault. Why don't you just go out and get Blue Cross Blue Shield? That's what I should do. And I should just walk away from SAG after. Right? I don't fucking know. I'm a big advocate of that. You know, looking yourself in the mirror and being like, all right, you fucked up. As opposed to being like, you know, the world is unfair, which everybody knows it is, right? But if you say, all right, I fucked up, then it actually gives you an option to be, okay, what, what can I do to lessen the fuck up? Because I know I'm going to fuck up again, you know? Like if you're like Caitlyn Jenner right now, rather than fucking filming yourself, taking a piss in Trump's tower, you know, why don't you just look yourself in the mirror and be like, all right, how did I fuck this up? You know, for the first 66 years of my life, I had a definitive bathroom to go into. There wasn't any questions, nor did I have to film myself. And then afterwards say I didn't molest anybody. What has happened to that person? You know, that, 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 that person has absolutely lost their fucking mind. Who's walking around filming themselves taking a piss and then talking about child molesters? And I know what people were saying. Oh, you can't have these fucking uh, former guys with boobs. Now they have, you know, you know, they're transitioning people. You, they're going to fucking molest somebody, blah, 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 blah. I know that that's what that whole fucking thing was supposed to be about. But, you know, I don't know. That just came off to me as shameless self-promotion. I don't have anything against transgendered people, but that fucking dingbat. It's funny. Dingbat is the proper word because, you know, she identifies with the female sex. So I think dingbat now works as opposed to douchebag. See, I kept the D. I went, I went alliteration. 
Ice Kid never fully. Co- you know what? I, I would never call Bruce a douchebag because he was on the Wheaties box. You know, I don't know about this Caitlin though. That's a, the jury's still out. Oh, Bruce did kill somebody. You know, accidentally. Caitlin has yet to accidentally kill somebody. So you know, there's a lot of math to be done. You know what? I strike all that. I think I think uh, she was right to film herself peeing in a skyscraper. <laughs> You know, whenever I see a video like that, I always wonder if people who are truly suffering around the world, if they ever get access to a laptop and just somehow that comes up on their fucking YouTube page. You know what I mean? They're just living like in like those people that in like Brazil that live in those fucking trash heaps. If somehow they see fucking Caitlyn Jenner walking around acting like a victim, you know, wearing shoes that they probably fucking sewed together at three o'clock in the fucking morning. (laughs) Oh, I know, I know. You're supposed to care about everything. Um, I don't. I don't give a fuck. You know what I give a shit about right now? Sciatica coming to the Providence. Oh, it's the Worcester Providence Civic Center. Worcester Civic Center. No. Ah, fuck, I can't even remember. That's all I give a shit about. I give a shit about, um, I don't know, being able to fucking reach down and pick up a dirty sock. Without having a fucking bolt of lightning go down the back of my leg. That would be nice, right? Maybe I'm transitioning. I'm transitioning into a fucking old man. Right before my very eyes. 